Oops. My name is Bhushan Shekhar Boir from Department of Accounting and Finance in Chango Kana Thakur College. Today we are going to see the auditing and in auditing we will learn the first second module that is audit planning procedures and documentation. In second module there are audit planning then audit program, audit working papers and audit notebook. In last lecture we have seen the audit planning. Now today we are going to see the audit program. As the concept of auditing, we know that an auditor always examine all the necessary documents with the evidence of that document, proof of document and submit the report to the authority. So now before the starting of that auditing activity, auditor must prepare an audit program for better auditing process so that the audit program is the preparation of an audit program is an important part of audit planning. Audit program is a written plan wherein a complete outline of audit work is recorded. An auditor commences his audit work on the basis of outline that is audit program. This outline is prepared well in advance by an auditor. And again just a civil engineer like for example we can see a civil engineer prepares a plan for construction of dam. He directly don't start to construct a dam before the before the activity is being started the civil engineer prepares the plan and program according to that plan they divide the word to the workforce to the people as per their talent and as per their skills so that's why uh, the civil engineer plan a systematic manner to get a success similarly an auditor also prepares an outline of audit work on the basis of distribute the work among his staff in order to complete the audit work in a systematic and satisfactory manner. This is called an audit program. So in simple word we can say that audit, audit program is division of work before the auditing process starts. So there are certain advantages for, uh, uh, for uh, of this audit program because we cannot start audit process directly. We have to prepare an audit plan then audit program to division of work. It is the main and most important function of audit program to divide the work according to the tal uh, talent and skill of the staff, uh, available staff. Th the advantages of the audit programs, the first advantage is efficient division of work. As we see that in audit program we divide the work according to the talent of the worker. So the auditor can divide the whole work of audit among his staff on the basis of the competence, ability and experience of his staff. Senior staff may be given complex assignment as compared to the junior staff which can be assigned lighter work such as vouching etc. The second one the fixation of responsi responsibility. As we know that a responsible person must be given a proper responsibility and as well as the authority. The audit program specifies the work, its quantity and the nature and by whom to be done. It is, prepare, it is prepared by the auditor before the activity is been started. Thus the staff which is involved in finishing a particular work within a specific time becomes accountable towards its performance. So it is their responsibility to complete the task in a given period of time. The auditor can fix the, up the responsibility for any lapse in the work easily on the concerned person. So according to that, an uh, auditor can know which work is to be done by whom and if that work is not done properly or completely, then the person will be available for the work done. Third one is a estimated of the progress of the work. The performance of the assignment interested to particular member of the staff can be reviewed. Its progress can be judged and if needs arises, the whole work may be reallocated. So this is the third advantage of audit program that we can assign a task to a particular person and we can review that work, how that particular person is doing that work. And if we think that, if an auditor thinks that he is not able to perform the duty properly, then they can allocate the work to other person. The fourth advantage is increase in efficiency. As we know the audit program increases the efficiency of the staff since every member of the audit staff is allocated clear cut duties and he need not inquire about it off and on. This saves time and energy on the part as well as on the part of the others. As we can know that as we can see 
द होल प्रोसेस और होल वर्क इज असाइन टू पर्टिकुलर पर्सन और टू पर्टिकुलर पर्सन एंड दैट पर्सन आर एबल और दैट पर्सन आर सपोज टू डू दैट वर्क इन गिवन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड सो एवरी पर्सन नोज देर ड्यूटी देयर टास्क एंड द टाइम अवेलेबल टू परफॉर्म दैट टास्क सो इट ऑटोमेटिकली इंक्रीज द इफिशियंसी ऑफ देम बिकॉज दे नो वॉट टू बी डन इन अ वॉट पर्टिक्युलर टाइम सो इट इज द प्रोसेस वेयर एंड इफिशियंसी ऑफ वर्कर इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीज एंड द वर्क इज डन मोस्टली विथ अ लेस अमाउंट ऑफ डिफिकल्टीज then the first uh, sorry fifth uh, advantages is uniformity in audit work audit program is usually prepared on the basis of audit work of previous years this simplifies the task of auditor not only this time is saved but the preparation of audit program keeping in mind the previous years audits program brings uniformity in audit work as we know that the audit work is done with the help of previous year work so here the work is in uniform manner throughout the years it is not so difficult to prepare an audit program because we can be which it can be done with the help of previous years work and the last advantages is change in the audit staff in case of auditor leaves him in between an employee or member or staff before the completion of the audit work the work of such person can be safely entrusted to someone else without disturbing the whole audit program as we can know uh, we know every work is given to a particular person and that person leaves the job or he is not able to come to office or he is not perform able to perform the duties that work can be only that work can be given to other person it saves the time it doesn't disturb the entire process as everybody is given particular task which to be perform perform so these are the advantages of audit program and that can be and the in next lecture we can see uh, so next lecture we will see the disadvantages of audit program uh, next number 7 that is the proof in the court in the case of auditor is charged with the negligence of his kind and a suit is filed against him to the effect the audit program serves as evidence in the court to the effect that he has conducted the audit in a systematic and proper manner thus an audit program saves serves as good proof or evidence in a favor of the auditor the seventh point before uh, moving to the disadvantages we have to learn the seventh point that is proof in the court the audit process is or audit program is can be used as a proof in a court if any negligence is happen by the client or any suit is filed against the auditor so the audit program is been authorized or audit program is been uh, sanctioned by the account uh, management itself so uh, in next lecture we will see the disadvantages of audit program for uh, that's all for today thank you